So let's talk a little bit about cost, okay? Now, the, you know, all these subjects are kind of controversial. And so, uh, you know, we're not, I, I didn't mean to upset anybody all the time about what we're saying. I'm just trying to throw out numbers and trying to make the best comparison I can make. But, you know, when, the funny thing about it is when you look up online, there's all different opinions about these things. People have a very, very, you know, very, very zealous opinion about something. And, and I'm, I don't really have a, you know, like I said, I don't really have a camp in any one of these things. I'm just trying to throw out numbers as best I can. So I'm trying to average everything that everybody's saying because there's a lot of disparate opinions out there about costs and about efficiencies and about CO2 emissions. And so, so we're trying to do the best we can on that. Point number one, the cost of purchasing an electric car is at least $10,000 or more than the gasoline car. So the cost, um, what did you find out about your cost? So is, which one costs more, the electric car or the, or the, or the gas car? Are you talking about fuel or the still overall price and stuff? Well, let's talk about overall. So you, if you're talking about manufacturing, what it costs to buy the car, and, life, and over the life cycle of, or lifespan of the car, let's say, you know, which one overall is going to cost more? And I think from what you saw, it's, it's the electric. Yeah. And I was just going to tell you what, what I saw. Um, when I did numbers on, the, on just the cost of getting a new car, the numbers for the the electric car was only five thousand dollars more than the gasoline car. So that was the, that was the biggest that was the biggest factor. But I mean, I, I I searched several places and they were all about the same. They only they said there's only a five, and I didn't believe that though. I thought that was um that's a little yeah, kind of far fetched, so. but <laughs> I will, only a five thousand dollar difference. So I was like, well, uh, I mean, they are coming down. Uh, I my my studies shows that they're an average of eighteen thousand dollars more. Per averaging all the cars, you know, electric car, equivalent types of cars, you know, the average electric car, if you average all electric cars, from according to my research, and, and just a few months ago, was $51,000 for an electric car. Now, that's average. That's not, you know, like some you can buy less, some are buy more, you could cost you more. Like for a gas car, it was $33,000. So, oh, wow. So that yeah, put so it at 18000 like, yeah. Now, that's actually, according to my research, that that's actually come has come down five thousand dollars more from the from 2022 to 2023 so so we're actually um, heading in the right direction maybe that's where you got the five thousand dollars from because <laughs> it's come down five thousand dollars. Well, no they said it was year. just a five only a five thousand well, dollars difference <laughs> yeah but anyway point number two you spend almost half as much for fuel with the electric car unless you utilize a lot of public charging stations fuel i think is it costs more for the gasoline vehicle um, I think what we were, yeah. what we were saying, what we, I think we agree on that. I think the University of Michigan study came out and said that you pay around eleven hundred dollars per, I, I think it's per year for gasoline and five, just five hundred for electric. So what I looked up was what cars run per kilowatt hour in an electric vehicle, and then you know if you if you take a, a a car that gets say twenty two, twenty three, twenty four miles per gallon average, that's you know what. What is that going to cost you per year? And I and I figured on an average of three miles per kilowatt hour of of charge using a, a charge of kilowatt of, of of per kilowatt. If you plug it into your home, it's gonna the average consumer pays seventeen to nineteen cents per kilowatt hour on their electric bill. Okay, so I use that and the three miles per kilowatt and i came up with that the pretty similar numbers is that i um the if you if you plug it in at home you're you're going to spend about half half the price uh, that you would have if you had a gas car okay so um which is good so you you'll probably save six hundred dollars a year on gasoline the average consumer okay you spend you know that they're going to spend eleven hundred dollars for a gas car to spend maybe five to six hundred dollars on an electric car. However, okay, that's it. that is if you only plug it in at home, all right? Now, if you use a charging station, a public charging station, that changes the figures a little bit, okay? So, public charging stations can be up to five times more <laughs> to, to, run, to, 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 you know, you're gonna pay oh, for yeah. that. So you're gonna pay some people, uh, the same between 30 and 60 cents per kilowatt hour. You were talking about your, 
your son your son was talking about um going he went to the library and said it was a dollar per kilowatt. It was a dollar per kilowatt. Yeah. Okay, so so that's a lot that's, that's an increase of five times. Okay. Well that that puts it up way over the if you if you only use public stations, well then you're gonna pay more than a gas car per year. Okay, not everybody's gonna use public stations only. Okay, so let's just say maybe it's fifty fifty or something and so and, but even if it's even if it's half and half, you're still going to be paying more because it's because of the public station is so much higher. That they're not just double; they're more than double. Okay, so in a lot of, in a lot of cases, because using what they call the level three um, chargers, and so they're a little more expensive. That's mostly what's out there now. Point number three: Therefore, the electric car costs more than the gasoline and overall price, taking into consideration purchase, fuel, and maintenance charges. So again, it all depends. It depends, and I th I think so. That's one of those improvements, like we're talking about. If the electric grid improves, right. and if the batteries improve, and a few other things improve, then, it looks then the, electric like the electric car will car start to be up. Yeah, it'll be it start becoming more popular and stuff. I so, think. so I'm going to say that if if my figures are right, about eighteen thousand dollars more on average for an electric car, and you and you're saving only a few hundred dollars a year at gas, based on um, public versus you know private charging stations let's say you let's say you you know you, you save about three to four hundred instead of six hundred you know dollars a year then it's going to take you like you know more than the life cycle of a, uh, you know lifespan of the car to make up that difference the eighteen thousand dollar difference in my opinion even with the maintenance costs so mm. i think for right now for right now at this very moment the electric car costs more for Purchasing and over time, I don't think you're going to catch up with that. Because typically in manufacturing, the prices go down. And they are going down right now. The electric car prices are going down because more and more people are manufacturing them. More and more companies are manufacturing them, which means there's more and more of a supply, which and more and more competition, which drives the prices down. Okay, and that's happening right now, which is great. So will that overcome the cost of producing the batteries? I don't know. So, Point number four. According to a Volvo study, the electric car emits more GHGs during manufacture, but overall, it does better because of the use phase. Let's talk about emissions, greenhouse gas emissions. Okay, which one does better in overall greenhouse gas emissions, the electric car or the gas car? Um, Just the bottom line. To, well, according to what to what I did research on, I think the gasoline car does better on emissions if you take the grid into consideration yeah, at this moment yeah if at you take the moment, grid yeah. into at this moment you take the grid into consideration and you take the manufacturing of the car you take those both into consideration then i'll say by far but the definitely the gasoline vehicle does better on emissions yeah so you have you had some studies you looked up um was it yeah emission? and actually it's from one of our commenters they said i asked them like where you, would you find some good information about the uh, carbon emissions for the like the gasoline versus the electric car and someone referred me to a Volvo study i think it's on their c40 model but um when you look at the they make both electric and the gas yeah, car they make right? the okay. they say make the same version one's electric and one's gasoline so they're they're it's called a c40 i think and um, according to that study, um, what they said is that the gasoline, the electric car is better uh, overall emissions, but um, when you take into account the um, manufacturing of it from the cradle to the grave, the manufacturing by far, the electric car emits more carbon dioxide uh, for that manufacturing process. Uh, so the numbers on that were like 14 tons for the gasoline car, but 24 for the, uh, for the electric car. So it was like okay. it was like ten or eleven more. I think it was like you saying like eighty percent more. That's a yeah, eighty percent more. Yeah. It was eighty percent more to manufacture the electric car versus the um, versus the gasoline car. Um, well, let me let me uh, interject real quick, mm -hmm. and I so my, and before you go further, because in the, and I I agree with you. So the manufacturing of the car, because in my research, most of the batteries, the lithium ion technology, the batteries are produced in China right now. And China, because China uses the majority of their electricity as coal mm. burning plants, that's where most of the, that's where most of the greenhouse gas part in the manufacturing process comes from. And plus, we have to ship those from the farthest place or over in the world all the way back here to the U.S. Now, I will say though, there is a move. You know, we're trying to move to get things things more and more produced closer to America. Okay, 
some things in America, some things in South America, some things, you know, that are closer by so that we're not using, you know, majority of coal power plants to produce these things. And so that, and that'll save on transportation as well. So, so that will, that will start to come down manufacturing problems with greenhouse gas emissions as we transition, maybe away from countries that produce these things in, in a, in a, an environment that is not so friendly on it or, and, but you know, as, as China starts to reduce their emissions too, maybe that'll get better as well. So, but they're not, they're still building coal plants right now. So I don't think they're going to have to start reducing those for another few years. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. And then, uh, well, according to the study that I saw, so they, they say that the electric car is overall, the emissions are better than the gasoline. They base that on the use, on the use phase. So, for the use phase, um, the electric vehicle only has like 24 tons uh, for that for the use of the car for like I think it's 200,000 kilometers. But for the gasoline, it was like 43 tons. So you're almost talking twice as much for the emissions for the electric vehicle. I think you would almost have to double that because when I did some research on the internet as far as what the greenhouse gas emissions and the and the electricity, they were accounting I think for the amount of energy wasted when you combust it right, generation you know, generation of heat to electricity we didn't see where they were accounting for the other inefficiencies which count for another half right so roughly, you, yeah roughly another half right which at that point it comes out a little bit higher than the uh gasoline vehicle for the for the use phase of. for the use phase okay. point number five according to franks and matt's calculations the electric car does slightly worse than the gasoline car and ghd emission emissions taken into consideration manufacturing and the use phase Okay. So like, what did you... Well, I got... It's similar, but so what I did was uh, took into account how, what percentage of coal power plants we have in the U U.S. and what percentage of natural, natural, nat natural gas plants we have in the U.S. So anyway, after all those calculations, you're right, I had to... Because of these, these numbers, they were just in kilowatt hours generated. They weren't taken into to the account of the inefficiencies of the grid from after generation you lose around 55 percent in just generation but then you lose another half of that as you until you finally um get it into your charging it into your battery in your car if you assume like like i'm saying like a 15 percent loss as well through the charging station plus the other losses in the transmission lines and in the margin you have to have and the wasted power that is not balanced in the loads and so all of that all of that i don't think they're taken into consideration just like you're saying they did not take those that half again out from right as you put the electricity into the battery of your car. So, so again, I, well, after I've taken all into consideration, that came out to um, that the electric car just barely went under the gas car for me anyway, to my calculation. So it beat it by just a just a few pounds per you know equivalent of miles per kilowatt hour versus you know miles per gallon. So, it's pretty close. But if you take into the consideration the manufacturing losses that you take right now, the hit you take in the 80% of over and above the greenhouse gas emissions to produce the electric car, then the electric car is not doing better than the gas car, in my opinion, at this particular moment, all things considered. Yeah. So at this very moment, I think that the, the gas car is a little little less emitting overall of its life cycle cost. Now, again, that may change. I think that the trend is, is favoring the electric car more and more every year. So we'll see if it catches up to that. So I'll have, we'll have to wait and see. Now, all these things have to do with the, I think like we're talking about, for the electric car to do better in both the efficiency and the carbon emissions, the grid, number one, the grid needs to be more renewable and clean. Yeah. And then the batteries need to be, something needs to be done with those. But if you fix those two things, I think all these things we're talking about with the emissions and the, and the efficiency, the electric car will start to do better too. I think well. in the future, electric car will be more advantageous. I just, for, right, for me right now, I don't know that it is. So um, that's sort of where I'm standing at the moment. But I'm just keeping my eye open because I do want to buy one at some point in the future. And I'm hoping that um, for me, the, um, these three factors, you know, emissions, cost and efficiencies um, are better in the future and so I'm, I'm looking forward to that um, but I hope that uh, the choices you make are made with 
educated decisions, mm -hmm. and that's uh, what yeah. we're trying to from do. From people like us, if it helps you out <laughs> or something. Yeah. All right, that's that's what <laughs> right. we're hoping for. All right.